Good morning, my friends. Well, it's a bit of a late start today. 11.24. I uh, haven't even had breakfast yet because we're going to do a weigh-in. I have had uh, some liquids this morning, so it's not a complete dry weight. And we were at my parents over the weekend, so obviously they force-fed us. So uh, what were we last time about? What did I weigh before? I think it was about 94.6 so if we're under that then we're still doing good so let's check what we are right now so breakfast today absolute beast of a shake i think it's like 70 grams of protein in here and uh i actually have so many people commenting oh your bo body can only absorb 30 grams of protein blah, blah, blah. that that's a myth uh, and recent studies have been shown that you can absorb as much protein as you consume. So you don't need to worry about that. And if you want to eat two meals per day and hit your protein, three meals, maybe even one meal, that's absolutely fine. So um, yeah, don't worry about uh, anything that's over 30 grams of protein. Smoothies have been uh, really helpful for me recently because I haven't really got much of an appetite recently compared to when i last dieted i think it's because i was on a phase of eating what i want for so long um it's, it's quite good actually because i'm able to lose weight without a bunch of cravings but like i said in the last video i'm not restricting anything and if i don't want to have something that's absolutely fine but what i have noticed is reducing a lot of um, processed food so every time i tend to eat like you know a lot of wraps pasta I tend to feel a little bit more lethargic and I've really been focusing on uh, whole foods natural grains rice potatoes lean meats nothing overly processed and my energy is just so much better and I feel better as well um, but again I'm still not restricting anything like if I want a bowl of cereals cereal like I had uh, Cheerios yesterday before my workout and it was probably one of the best pre-workout meals I've had in a very long time huge pump and it tasted great i used to do that all the time but recently i've been avoiding it but uh definitely gonna bring that back so i'm gonna do this and then we've actually got a parcel from vanquish so we're gonna go check that out i made an absolute mess of myself and am i the only who else licks the lid <laughs> don't be shout to me every time i do it the blades and all, I'm just like... No! You gotta Stop! Move. I'm, I'm very well practiced. <laughs> You're stressing me out. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. I have to tell you guys something else that he does. It's disgusting, and you are gonna agree with me. Wait, let me take... How do I take this off? You can't. Oh. Um, basically, when he's up? done with this, with water, this rinse out. he puts water in it to rinse it out, and then he drinks the diluted yeah, water. It's disgusting. You need to get all the protein. No. You can't waste it. No. Look, that is about. That's so gross, honey. That's about. Well, hang on, just come. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. It looks so no, gross. Stay it looks, here, like, I'll get the it looks like he's drinking dishwater when he does this. We're going on a chip. Oh, so we get the water. No, it's terrible. I disagree with this. Tell me if you guys do this. No, the... nobody will do this. All right. Oh. So. <laughs> no. Look at that lovely diet. Oh. But you've got all the protein. Now. No, 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 not worth. Look, just look at it. It looks like dishwater it is like it it's so no, they're gonna pour out oh it's just so <laughs> milky and yeah, like right. oh mm -hmm. it's water with uh, tinged with a f tiny tad of protein disgusting yeah, nobody does that you cannot i promise nobody you does cannot that let protein okay you guys protein. tell if anyone does this please say that you do this because i don't believe a single human being does that protein. <laughs> that's what i learned in my life My friends, big parcel from Vanquish. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, it's probably already up by the time this video is going live, but it is the new Dragon Ball collection. <laughs> Bless you. Um, so yeah, we got some awesome, awesome bits here. We got uh, 
I'm gonna be honest, I didn't actually watch Dragon Ball as I was growing up, uh, Dragon Ball Z, but I appreciate the concept, the design, and Goku is Goku, sorry, is pretty cool. So um, I watched other things. So don't don't I wasn't like a kid who didn't watch like cartoons. I watched uh, like the Justice League, all the animated like Marvel DC stuff. Absolutely loved it. I grew up on the X Men and the uh, Batman, uh, voiced by Kevin Conroy. May he rest in peace. He is, will always be my Batman. Um, but yeah, so uh, we've got some cool designs here. Um, who's this one? This is Trunks. Uh, let me let me find. <laughs> let, let me show you a quick fit. So as far as Dragon Ball Z collaborations go, I think this is probably the best you'll see. I mean, the joggers are super super comfortable. Uh, they're like. Like a like I can't describe it. They're fleece, but they're like really stretchy, really nice, and a great fit. Classic oversized fit on the uh, t-shirts with this amazing prints. This is really cool. I mean, I'll leave an overview uh, of all the, other, the all the other designs. And if you want to get anything from VQ, you can use my code Marino for a nice little discount. But yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we're training legs today, so this isn't really a leg day fit, so I'll go back to my shorts, which is also from them. The outfit I was wearing before is the Utility Collection. Uh, it's actually one of my favorites, because it's like just really nice training, really breathable materials. But anyway, Goku, um, all the other characters, really cool. But yeah, super comfortable, actually. I might just lounge around in this for a little bit, but yeah, uh, cool. Check it out, uh, it's probably already live now, so check it out and let me know if you get anything. Alrighty, let's... Uh... Yes, and yes, oppa. Alrighty then, so pre-workout today, we are having the new birthday special by my protein. This is their new Origin Pre. I'm having, this is the pump one. Uh, so it's zero stimulants because uh, as you know, we are, Taking it a little bit easier with the stimulants now, so just a few coffees a day. Um, but yeah, this is really good. It's got eight grams of citrine malate and a lot of beta alanine. So if you're sensitive to any sort of beta alanine, I'd say take half a serving. This goes with anything, but this one is pretty pump heavy. Uh, so we're gonna have a nice big pump in the legs. Now, legs can be quite painful when you get a pump, so. Uh, and then five grams of creatine monohydrate. Five grams, uh, so with your creatine, you just have it whenever you want. Don't need to have it pre-workout, post-workout. You can do it whenever it is suitable for you. So we're gonna have one serving of this, and a serving of this, a serving of this. Um, 20 grams of this. Uh, if you do want any of the My Protein products, my code Merino will get you quite, a, so it can be up to like 40 or 50% off, um, or it adds on top of whatever sales they have, depending on your region. So if you're in the UK, it might give you a certain price off. And then if you're in the US, another price. So I, it, wherever you are, check it out on the, on the site and see how much it gives you. But yeah, so 20 grams of this is the, excuse me, sour apple flavor. Quite nice, and this is the blueberry. I, I always like getting flavored creatine, just because creatine by itself, even though it says unflavored, it's not very nice. So yeah, this and that. We've got some blue raspberry sour apple, perfect. Um, and yeah, I know we did uh, legs a few videos ago, but... Uh, touch sensitive <laughs> cooker. Um, so my lower back has been a bit funny recently. Uh, so I've had to really, I'm seeing a physio, which is good. Um, so it, this will be quite a machine dominant workout. So we won't do too many free weight stuff, if any. Uh, so I'm trying to relieve a lot of the pressure on the lower back so there'll be no squats or front squats because I uh, was doing a strength conditioning phase uh, oh, a few weeks ago and uh, with the front squat, I racked three plates and I leant slightly forward, pulled my intercostal. Uh, and if you've ever pulled your intercostal before, it is horrible. Uh, couldn't sleep for a couple of nights, but because it's uh, the intercostal is the muscle in between your ribs. So when you breathe or move, 
it'd be a very sharp pain. But yeah, we're gonna drink this, if I can find a lid. No, but yeah, I'll drink this now and see you on the way to the gym. Uh, I just reviewed the content uh, that I just filmed in the car and this microphone has a slight ringing in the background. I just want to apologize for that and the next video uh, I'll have all my audio sorted. All right guys, so I've had to swap out microphones because this bloody microphone doesn't like it when you move and use it. <laughs> so I've put my shotgun one on, but again, this one's a bit temperamental sometimes, so let's hope it's all good. So uh, let's head off to the gym. In the Ineos, uh, I will be doing a two month, three month review of it soon. Um, little pre little heads up we love it it's honestly the coolest one of the coolest cars i've ever driven the presence the practicality just everything about it really it's just it's such a unique car it's so big it's so cool it moves well and we just really enjoyed it but um i'm actually going to be doing a lot more car content I think uh, I'm going to be doing a review of my Audi RF set, RS5 uh, hopefully in the next video it just, which is just my overall thoughts and uh, what it's like to live with one um, but if you do like car content uh, let me know because you guys seem to like the last one um, and I'll make sure to do a bunch more because aside from working out gym I absolutely love cars and everything about them so yeah, always have. Uh, but yes, so on the way to the gym, we are doing a body, this is my bodybuilding week. Uh, so I kind of change my workouts week by week. So one week I'll do like a strength and conditioning plan and then week t like with a lot of EMOM, uh, you know, strength and power focused lifts. Uh, and then on week two, I will do more traditional bodybuilding stuff. Although everything, like you know me, it's always going to be supersetted, high intensity, lots of drop sets. Uh, just trying to combine muscular endurance, fitness, hyper. I'm just trying to do everything in one go. And it may be a lot for some people, but I enjoy it. And it's a, you know, I'm going to be updating my training app soon to follow this principle. I'm going to have a bodybuilding program and a strength and conditioning program, which people can follow along. Um, also, uh, my product, uh, which I told you about in the first video coming back, will be launching within hopefully eight weeks. We're still waiting for initial samples. And once we've got like a one month countdown to launch, I'll let you guys know what it is and we'll start um, you know, sending out some samples to people and just, I'm just really excited. I think you guys are gonna love it as well. So uh, it's been a long time in the making. But yeah, heading to a gym to do the bodybuilding style legs. Uh, like I said in the previous clip, my lower back is pretty bad at the moment. I'm also experiencing a lot of uh, glute pain, especially my right one. I've been going to a physio for the first time in my training career and what we've assessed is that my right glute is misfiring so it's not firing up as well as the left one. My lower back is taking a lot of the load. This is due to back in 2017 I tore my quadricep tendon while doing the Tom Platt stupid hack squat thing with too much weight. Doing a sissy squat with an no weight or low weight is absolutely fine, but I was doing it way too much and I really messed myself up. Um, and over the years, I think it's just, you know, that slight imbalance has slowly built up and it's created this pain in my lower back and my glute now. So we're working on rehabbing that. So today it will, there will be maybe one free weight movement, not many. I'm trying to focus on time of detention with the machines and really focus on not putting a lot of pressure on my lower back. So we're doing like hack squat, leg extension, seated hamstring curls, leg press. Luckily this gym I'm going to does have a lot of machines. Um, I mean, filming 
I think me being an introvert, it's always been a struggle for me filming in the gym because I don't like to be the center of attention. Because uh, <laughs> as soon as you pull out a camera, everyone always looks at you. I know it's, I know everyone does it, but and it's becoming much more popular. But when I the gyms I go to, you know, I'm probably the only one doing it. So, especially, I go to another health club as well, like as mine and Domi's like just every day gym. Uh, pulling out a camera there is not <laughs> really, um, it's, it, it, you'll get looks, especially because the clientele there is of the older demographic. But, again, you just gotta push through, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It, I think that's why I prefer the voiceovers. You know, I can just film the exercise, talk about it much more effectively and focus on the workout. Um, it's better when I'm with friends and stuff, but when I'm by myself, or oh, my fellow introverts out there, you, you gotta, you gotta feel, feel some pain for me. <laughs> but I, I love bringing you guys this, these workouts and it's, you know, I love doing this uh, and I have built up, you know, resistance to it, but I don't think it helps that I'm going now at 5 p.m. I, I totally lost track of time today. Um, but yeah, so we have got to the gym. I'm gonna sit outside and <laughs> mentally prepare. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I can like hide away. Ooh, I can like hide away on the legs. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna film this, but I'm gonna warm up on the Stairmaster for five minutes on level eight to warm my quads up, and then I'll do some dynamic stretching. And then the first exercise is seated hamstring curls. So, I will see you. You know, it's been raining all day. And then it just, the sun comes out, it's mental. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the gym after I drink this and mentally prepare for uh, filming in a, in a, in a big gym. All right, I'll see you. All right, my friends, so we are actually recording this voiceover a few days later and I've caught a cold. I'm not going to name any gyms or places, but yeah, I'm a bit congested right now. So the leg workout we started off with my favorite hamstring exercise the seated hamstring curl uh, we did four working sets here of 10 uh, nice slow control tempo on the negative uh, and once we re uh, once we achieved 10 doing five pulses at the end to really drive home the time and detention and just create a lot of blood sending it through to the hamstrings um, i always like to start my leg workouts with either calves or hamstrings as they're always a bit underdeveloped compared to quads because everyone always smashes them first when they first started training but four working sets on here with a double drop set at the end and then we're on to our first superset which is hack squats into leg extensions now the tension that you get from putting these two together a heavy compound into an isolation is insane i'm not really too worried about what weights i do as long as i'm pushing close to failure i was going about one shy of failure on the hack squats and then failure on the leg extensions this was actually my last set and i did a single drop set uh, after just as many as i could and uh my lower back was okay. I couldn't actually go down too low because it was still putting quite a bit of pressure on my lower back. It seems to be whenever I load the spine in the squat position, even though it's not fully applying all the tension through, it still did hurt at the lower portion, so I had to take it quite easy. But once we got through the drop set here, again, uh, I think we did we did two warm-up sets and three working sets with a single drop set on the hack squat and i think we did a double drop set on the leg extension so here um after that trying to catch your breath making sure that you are breathing <laughs> properly because i realized looking back at this footage i don't breathe co breathe collect correctly and i've realized what it does I, I hold my breath which i would never recommend doing because sometimes after my workout i'll just find my eyes are bloodshot because of the pressure that i've been creating my head it can definitely not be good so make sure you control <laughs> control your breathing guys on each and every rep but yeah we did a triple sorry double drop set here pretty much close to failure uh, i didn't want to break the form too much um and start shaking my whole body around but yeah this was the burn here combining these two 
was pretty immense so give it a go um, or do this whole workout next time let me know how you find it and now we're off to some more hamstrings oh this cold is getting <coughs> excuse me guys um so yeah what we were doing here is a one leg negative uh lying hamstring curl so what you do is 10 reps where you're doing one leg uh, coming down nice and slow and then you just do 10 legs together so it works out about 20 reps in total three sets i do like to alternate between quad and hamstring movements because otherwise i tend to neglect the hamstrings just like everybody else but as long as i force myself to do them and start with them i feel like they developed quite a long quite a lot over the last few years um but yeah so four sets of this really pushing through uh, and you'll get a very nice pump in the hamstrings i've always found that a mixture of high reps and low and heavy reps work but can't do any hip hinge movements uh at the moment just due to the back so it's mainly machines and then we're on to the next uh, and last exercise for the legs now this was a this is a bit of a uh, long set because what we were doing here is uh, one leg leg press for 10 to 12 reps on each side uh, then we were going on to double leg press so maybe you have a 15 second rest and then we're going slow and deep for 15 reps and then we're going straight on to calf raises for 20 reps so 10 to 12 reps on a single leg leg press then we were doing double leg press like so for 15 reps and then calf raises for 20 it's basically just you're you're in this for the long haul you're sitting down you're just putting as much tension as you can through the legs as you can see i'm not really doing that much weight um here i was pretty fatigued at this point uh i hadn't actually eaten that much i think we only had breakfast today yeah only had breakfast so it's was, quite it was, and it was quite late in the day uh so i was feeling pretty fatigued but this was the last quad movement and calf movement all in one uh but yeah so three sets of that and my legs were pretty much on fire and then lastly we were finishing on the calf raise the seated one in fact um uh, so I would... <laughs> <laughs> um <yeah. coughs> i will say <laughs> uh we were doing so what we did was four sets 20 to 25 reps this absolutely fried the calves off the bone just make sure you're going slow and controlled squeezing the life out of each rep just like on everything else and you'll feel it so much more and they will actually grow and also make sure in between each set you're stretching out the calf because they have the tightest fascia of any muscle group and the fascia is the stuff that surrounds the muscle and dictates how much you can grow but uh yeah that was the workout i uh, hope you enjoyed it give it a go let me know how you find it and uh i will see you in the next clip. Oh, my legs are so sore. They, uh, when I just do machines, they just, the pump, because it's such an isolating movement when you do like a hack strot, hack strot, hack squat, hamstring curl, or leg extension the pump is just insane because we're doing a lot of like compound movements only like split squats front squats but then you do a, like an isolation only workout my god the pump was insane but my little post-workout combo uh 70 grams of cheerios honey and then some cashew nut butter then 50 grams of whey um yeah it's been a pretty uneventful day but we got the workout in did some work in the morning and we had a good time you saw my leg workout um we're doing a lot of leg workouts recently because uh, we're just making up for all the leg workouts which other people don't do. So, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely give this workout a go if uh, you just want like a machine only workout or you are also having some problems with your lower back like myself. But yeah, so uh, next, wo next video, what I was going to say, we are going to do a car review. So... Uh, if you do like cars, let me know in the comment section again because I'll st try and do some more car content. And yeah, so I'm going to enjoy this now and I will see you in the next video. Take care.